Jain everyone, my name is Anirudh Singh and I got recommended from 32 SSB Kapoorthala. Also, I have cleared NDA examination written part twice. So, today I am here at Manik Shah Officers Academy to share my uh, strategy, to share my preparation. How did I prepare for the written part? How was I able to clear the written examination twice? So, basically I would like to say mathematics. As we all know, uh, as an aspirant, we all know that mathematics is the most important subject in the NDA written examination. If you are not able to clear the mathematics part, your GAT portion will not be checked even, right? So for mathematics, you must brush up your 11th and 12th basics. This must be very clear in our mind. The small formulas, they must be very clear in our mind. You must be very uh, fast in calculations. Because NDA uh, maths examination is more dependent on your calculations as well. The faster you calculate, the faster you get the answer. Many a times it happens. It happened with me. It happened that uh, I was able to go to the last step, but the last step was itself a multiplication thing, itself a uh, division thing. So it took a long time for me to do that. But I, pra uh, I practiced that, I prepared hard, and then it got very easy for me to do the calculations. So calculations are a very important thing. They play a very major role in, our, uh, in your uh, written part. So. For mathematics, it is not a very uh, hard thing. Mathematics is uh, average level mathematics, I would say, comes in NDA examination. Four to five questions are there, which are quite high, high level, but not that advanced. So for that, it is uh, mandatory to read 11th and 12th mathematics books, plus your, pers uh, your consistency and your practice. These two things, if you devote, if you devote them with your full passion, zeal, enthusiasm, that is the time, that is the part where you are one step closer to your goal, where you are one step closer to your dream, right? So, being consistent is not an easy part. I agree on that. It is not an easy part and neither too hard. It takes only 21 days to build a habit and 90 days to build a lifestyle. But we do not have that much time, right? So, being a foggy, you must be able to adapt to any type of thing. If you are able to study, say, two hours a day, take it to four hours a day. Challenge yourself. You want to be a foggy? Challenge yourself. Agar tum din mein ghante ho, and you do it daily, on daily basis you are doing it, you are growing up. You are going closer to your dream. That is the way you study. It is a very clumsy way to study, like you study 10 hours a day, then next day you are not studying at all. It is a very clumsy way. And I would say it is a very bad way to study. It is not recommended. But those five hours, quality five hours, I'm saying, four hours, three hours, more than enough. At least three to four hours you must give. These are more than enough, but quality hours. Quality hours, what does it mean? You're completely focused on it. It is not like you are uh, doing trigonometry and in your mind something is going like, I'll go to playground. That is not of much benefit. Do one thing at a time. Your mind is designed in such a way that you can do one thing at a time. And that too with perfection. You are studying, you study. You are playing, you just play. Do not just mix up the things. Right? Now coming to the GAT portion. GAT portion, English. 200 marks. Very easy to grab. These are like fruits on a table. You just have to pick them up and eat them. I scored 200 on 200 in English. Not that I was a very meritorious student. I am very good uh, in English. It is not like that. It is all about your hard work. It is all about your preparation. It is all about your consistency. In English, anyone, if I can do it, anyone can do it. That is, a, you can say, a very easy thing to do. But, again, if you are not consistent, these 200 marks will take you down in the graph. For uh, the other things like history, geography, economics, polity, these were not very good of mine as well. But uh, you can uh, study the 8th class books, 10th class books, 9th class history books, NCRT books. These are very beneficial in that. And moreover, you have to make your study structured. Do not make it very clumsy. Do not mix up everything. Make a timetable, structure yourself, and study in a proper way. Because studying itself is an art. I would say. Studying is an art. The way you study, 
decides how many quality ta- how much quality time you can devote and for revision part i would say revision is very important thing for revision what i did that uh, uh, just in front of my study table there was a wall and i pasted 10 to 12 uh, papers and on those papers i wrote down every mathematics thing every formula every trick whatever it was so i wrote a, i wrote it down and pasted it on the wall so whenever i went to that room i just used to see through i just used to go through that through those papers and recall those things that is the way i did and it is not necessary that you also do that i was not so good in mathematics that is why i did that it is all up to you the strategy you pick up but the most important thing whatever the strategy you are following the most important thing in that your consistency your practice plus your quality time these three things if you are giving congratulations jain